Today we'll be doing some troubleshooting on a back-off PLC. Imagine that we have a machine in our plant that is running on back-off PLC. In today's video, we'll learn how to connect to it and go online with the PLC in run mode. We will learn how to connect to this PLC using our laptop for troubleshooting purposes. Once connected, we will learn how to go online and see the PLC code, assuming the developer has not locked it out. After watching this tutorial, you should feel comfortable in understanding Tooncat's basic architecture and its two components, the XAE and XAR. You will be able to easily establish network connections required to connect to the PLC, adding route from your laptop or network connected PC to the target system, and open the PLC project from your target. In this example, I'm showing Beckhoff's embedded PC but these steps required to establish connectivity with the other line of industrial PCs is similar. I'm also assuming that you have the TwinCAD development software installed on your laptop. TwinCAD is the development environment for back-off automation products and integrates all engineering components in an IDE using Microsoft Visual Studio Shell. From PLC programming, visualization, safety, motion configuration, license management, everything takes place in one integrated environment. TwinCAT allows hardware-independent development of the PLC application in one integrated environment and gives us a flexible choice of programming languages from IC 611.31-3 suite like Ladder Logic, uh, Structure Text to C++, MATLAB, and Simulink. The TwinCAT 3 automation software consists of two components, a runtime called the XAR and the engineering component called the XAE. The XAE component is installed on the development PC and is integrated in the Microsoft Visual Studio Shell. This is where the actual code development takes place. The TwinCAT XAR is a real-time capable runtime component of TwinCAT, and this is what runs on the back of IPC and executes the PLC logic developed in the XAE. When you install TwinCAT on your laptop or development computer, a runtime component is also installed together with the engineering component so that the execution of the program code can be tested locally in the development environment. TwinCAT XAR runtime allows the PLC code execution in real time with deterministic behavior. The XAR runs in a separate kernel from the Windows operating system, which means that it has direct access to the hardware and can avoid any interference from other processes or drivers. This way, TwinCAT XAR can achieve high performance and reliable real-time control of the connected hardware. We will talk about the runtime component in more detail in a future video. The code development takes place in the XAE on the development PC, which then gets compiled and downloaded to the XAR on the connected target system. Once the target system switches to run mode, it starts a real-time execution of the compiled program code to interact with the connected IO and hardware. Please note that the word download here refers to the code being sent uh, to the XAR runtime. For the physical network connections, both the development PC and the runtime PC must be connected via an Ethernet network connection. Usually, the back-off runtime PC will be part of a machine uh, local area network and thus assigned a fixed IP address. The development PC can also be assigned another IP address on the same subnet as the runtime. The two PCs can now be connected either directly or through a network switch using standard Ethernet patch cables. Now that we have made the necessary physical network connections, we can start establishing a network route uh, from the XAE to the XAR. The network connection between them is established via the ADS protocol. ADS stands for Automation Device Specification and is Beckhoff's proprietary communication protocol used for exchanging data between devices within the automation network. Once you have TwinCAD installed on your laptop, you can start it by either clicking on the TwinCAD icon in the system tray and then clicking on TwinCAT XAE. Or alternatively, selecting TwinCAT XAE from the Windows Start menu. With this, let's hop onto TwinCAT and continue the process of connecting to the target system. We are in TwinCAT. We'll do Open from Target. Choose the target system. Uh, let's do a search. Uh, usually, we can do a broadcast search and this will scan the network for all compatible targets. Uh, but if you know the IP address of the target, we can just enter that directly.
So it found our target system. Uh, it shows the IP address, the AMS net ID, TwinCat version, the Windows version. So we select that, make sure IP address uh, radio button is clicked, and then add route. Here it gives you the option of secure ADS, uh, but for this uh, demonstration, we'll just do the normal ADS. The default username is administrator, password is one. Now we can see there's an X under the connected column. That means we have established a route to the target. So we can just close. The TwinCat icon shows green, which means my target is in run mode. It's asking us to select a folder where we want to save the solution. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'll make a new folder, call it X. And we'll do select folder. Now TwinCat is going to retrieve uh, the project from the target and save it on my local computer desktop. And there we have it. Um, the project is called CX090. It has retrieved it and displaying the actual project. Let's explore the system. We see there are two tasks. This is where the PLCs are saved. So we have two projects. We can go to the POUs, open the main program. And here's the code running on that IPC. Let's go online and take a look. Press the login button. And we can see the PLC running. Let's explore the licenses. There's a TC1200 license. Let's look at the tasks. The first task is running on 10 milliseconds scan time. The second one is running on 10 milliseconds scan time as well. And we can log out. That's all for this video. Um, if you have any questions about today's topic, please leave them in the comments. If you found this video useful and like this kind of content, then please consider subscribing. And as always, Thank you for watching and um, keep innovating.